Hi guys, I am here in Nantali. I'm actually about to check out from the hotel that I've been staying for the last two nights. So I'm now staying at this Nantali Spa Hotel. This hotel has really amazing spa facilities. There are multiple swimming pools and jacuzzi and all these massage pools as well. in the outdoor pool in Nandali Spa it's pretty nice even though it's chilling outside it's like negative 1 degree celsius the pool is about 36 degrees celsius so it's really warm I think this is my favorite pool of this spa so I am on the outside pool in the night time it's pretty chilling We're now about to go check out and the idea is to go and explore the Nantali city or town and see what this place has to offer us. For now, I thought I'm gonna give you a little quick tour of how our room here in this Nantali spa hotel look like. But bear in mind that we have spent two nights here in this room and there is no room service because of the pandemic situation so the room is quite a mess but I guess I can still show you the view that we have because it's really cute so we have this mini golf view and if you look straight ahead that's the Moomin house isn't that just cute and we have a little French balcony here as well and on the other side we can see a little glimpse of the sea right behind this pavilion and we also have a nice mirror um, and then they have these wine offers which cost like 39 40 euro so we are not touching it and of course a big tv screen and what else yeah so the only downside is that the bed are twin beds so it's not so nice to sleep even though it's a comfortable bed and a lot of fridge units here as well here is the toilet yeah so i am wearing the red beep ball this is a nice lovely color red and then just normal some wool scarf and wool jacket because it's winter so i need to take out my winter jacket and my boots which are from monkey by the way and then i am ready to go conference room and there's the nantali spa hotel and that's where we were staying at that's a poodle. Yeah. Oh, it's so I'm here in the old town of Nantali and on both sides of the road there are just wooden houses which I think it's pretty awesome because it somehow reminds me of Rauma which is also an old town and Bordeaux as well. Well at least the roads here are not really like cobblestone road but yeah I guess my favorite wooden house is coming up so I'm gonna show it to you guys this looks like a newly built wooden house but isn't it just so cute oh, behind me there is a Moomin cafe and I think there is also Moomin exhibition as well and fortunately it is closed today as well even though it's a Monday Ducks to migrate. Yeah. 
right now I'm here at the Haba which is quite next to the church as well and you will see there are lots and lots of cafe and restaurant and also I saw a lot of ducks I can also see the Moomin world which is on another island I guess we might have to take a ferry to get to that Moomin world island which is kind of like an amusement park but unfortunately it is closed because it only opens in the summertime and there's like a little church on that island or a tower I guess maybe it's a Moomin tower It feels a little bit slippery to be walking on the wooden bridge which is covered in thin ice A couple of minutes ago I said that side probably is where Moomin Wall is but the truth is once I finish walking along this wooden boardwalk along the sea I am right at the entrance, which is like a entrance to the bridge that goes to the Moomin world. So, yeah, I was wrong. So right now I am on the Moomin World Island. I thought the island would be closed off but apparently no. You can still walk around on the island just to look at the buildings like these. So I guess this is more like a ticketing hut but it's pretty cute. It's Moomin themed. I am on the Toven Polgo. So it's the walking path named after the Moomin Arthur. Tove. Toven Polko. Some um, I'm kind of having mixed feelings because I really want to come to the Moomin world and I want to see the Moomin figurines. But right now it's really like just the buildings and of course it's really nice to see all these lovely buildings but I, I wish I could go inside and also check out all the Moomin figures and I bet it would be really beautiful here in the summertime when this whole place is open so yeah one thing to do in the summertime We are right now on the lookout place which is on top of the hill on one side i can see the moomin world and on the other side there is the church and right now we're just gonna go back to the car and i'm actually in need of some coffee something warm wow it's already one o'clock a loop around the old town we are now back towards the main city center where we parked the car So we finally found a cafe and it's called Metsa Tahti. It's like one or two kilometers away from the old town that we were in. The place looks good. Hopefully they have good cake and snack as well. So at first we were just thinking of having a light snack like coffee and some buns but turns out they have some lunch deal and we just ended up getting the lunch instead the lunch usually comes together with the salad and bread so we are now waiting for the main food while we are eating the salad
crispy. Getting tomato with feta soup and like always having guardian pasty. And it comes with mashed potato, guardian pasty and the berry, waluka berry sauce.